Catholic District 31, All-Stars at 4S Ranch. Rancho Bernardo facing Rancho Santa Fe on the mound. Rancho Santa Fe pitcher Burnett Wolford goes four innings with eight strikeouts, allowing only two hits and no runs. Then it's Matthew Andre with a ground doubled into left, bringing the game's first two runs across the plate. Rancho Bernardo comes out on top, the final 8 0. The District 31 tournament continues on Tuesday. District 31 All Stars at Forest Ranch. Valley Center playing host to Encinitas National. Top of three. Shea Arriaga hits it past the center fielder, bringing in Jackson Shibe all the way from first base. A little later, it's Caden Miller hitting over the right field wall. That's a two run bomb. Gavin Vanderpool caps an eight run fourth inning with a shot over the center field wall. This one is over in four innings. The final Encinitas National 14, Valley Center 2. District 41 matchup, or make that District 42 matchup. Imperial Beach taking on Sweetwater Valley. We go to the bottom of the first as the Rangers' Joseph Spicer manages to get a double off a bad hop in the infield that drives in two runs. Later in the bottom of the fifth, Sweetwater's Tyler Cabanon, Cabanol gets a huge three-run home run, extends their lead to 10-6 as that leads the team to a 13-8 victory. Sweetwater on top. Uh, feels good, but uh, tomorrow we gotta show up and play. What about on that second one? How'd you feel about that? Second one felt good, yeah. Um, gave me a fastball inside, I just turned on it and went out. District 42 Tournament of Champions semifinals. East Lake playing host to Parkview. Both these teams, you know, all about top of the first. East Lake's Aiden Torres drives it through the infield to score Noah Libed as they take a 1 0 lead. Then it's Libed at bat now, and he blasts the solo home run. East Lake wins by a final 5 2 0. Uh, this win meant everything. I mean, yeah, my, whole, my whole team brought everything yeah. today and we came out on top. That I would like to thank my team for um, hitting and defense and that they were making the play. San Diego Gladiators, nine and under football team is headed to the seven on seven national championship in Florida this weekend. The 12 members of the team are all from around the county. They will travel to Cocoa Beach, Florida this weekend to compete against six other teams in their division. The Gladiators will fly out Thursday and play all day Saturday. Over 35 teams of all ages will be competing in the seven on seven showcase. Probably one of the best things that's happened to me just to win that tournament when we got invited to the national championship. They're really good teammates. We always hang out. They're, <laughs> they're both really good at football. All of them are. It means a lot because we got like invited and we got like we got the best players on our team. They are fun, but when we get on the football field, it's game time. They're all a bunch of great group of kids. The first tournament we ever played, we won and it was national. I've been training with them a lot and they've helped me get a lot better. I used to run super weird and run slow and now I'm like a lot faster with my footwork. It's really cool. I'm excited for it. Good luck kids. 